ang mga bagay simula sa maliliit, malalaki, malalapit hanggang sa mga bagay na hindi na matanaw na ating mga mata, lahat ng ito ay parte ng universe. Pero saan nga ba ito nagsimula? Napakaraming theories and stories ang kumakalat about the origin of the universe sa buong mundo. Pero ang pinaka nang ibabaw sa lahat ay ang Big Bang Theory. So what is this Big Bang Theory all about? Let's separate it into four key stages. The singularity, inflation, nucleosynthesis, and recombination. 13.8 billion years ago, ang universe ay concentrated in a volume of space na kasing laki lang ng isang atom. This stage is what we call the singularity. This singularity violently exploded. Dahil sa explosion na ito, lahat ng matter, energy, space, and time ay nabuo. Almost in an instant, the size of the universe grew from this single atom to the size of a grapefruit. For about a few milliseconds after the explosion, sobrang init at dense ng universe and because of that, yung mga subatomic particles ay nasisira lang kapag nagbabanggaan ng mga ito. This is what we call inflation stage. For about a milliseconds more, nag-cool down ang universe. Then, the beginning of the third stage, nucleosynthesis happened. Nakapag-bind na ang mga subatomic particles at dito na nabuo ang tinatawag natin na protons and neutrons. To continue the story, one second after the explosion, the protons and neutrons underwent a significant change. Nagfused sila at nakabuo ng nuclei. This stage is what we called recombination. With this, nabuo ang kauna-unahang element sa universe, ang helium. Then, 50,000 years later, the universe cooled down enough. Dahil dito, nag-attach ang electron at nuclei for the first time. Nabuo ang second element ng universe, ang hydrogen. The identity of this element and all of the other elements depend on how many protons are in it. For example, we have helium. It has two protons. That's why it has the atomic number two. And then hydrogen, it has one proton. That's why it has the atomic number one. After that, 200 million years later, pinuno ng mga hydrogen and helium atoms na ito ang universe sa pagbuo nila ng atomic clouds. Itong mga kumpol ng atoms na ito ang naging punla ng maraming galaxy sa kalawakan. Sa loob ng mga galaxies na ito, nag-form ang mga stars and other elements. This is what we call the stellar evolution. At ito na ang current state of development ng universe. Kanina, nabanggit natin na the identity of the elements depends on how many protons are in it. So there was this guy named Dimitri Mendeleev. Gumawa siya ng classification ng elements according to their atomic weight. At that time, nakita niya na nagpapakita ng periodic patterns sa physical at chemical properties ang mga elements kapag inayos ito according to their atomic weight. Until dumating tong si Henry Mosley. Sabi niya, I conducted an experiment and I can say that no, the major properties of an element are not determined by the atomic weight but with their atomic number. Atomic number, guys, is the place of the element in the periodic table. Turo ko sa inyo mamaya. So, Henry Mosley has an experimental evidence that the atomic number was uniquely tied to the number of protons they had. So, dahil dito, mas na-arrange ng maayos ang periodic table natin as what we know today. Pero ma'am, paano po ito na-prove ni Henry Mosley? So, class, he used X-ray spectrometry. Binabaril niya ng electrons itong mga elements na to at sinusukat niya yung X-ray spectral lines nila. Pinapakita ng elements na ito na talagang related nga ang results ng X-ray na ginawa niya sa mga elements sa position ng mga ito sa periodic table. And then later on, dumating sa eksena itong si Ernest Rutherford. Matagumpay niyang nagawa ang nuclear transmutation o ang pagtransform ng isang element into another element. Na-prove niya na 
ah, itong mga elements pala na to, when combined together, makakabuo ng isa pang element. Ang kauna-unahang element na na-experiment niya by artificial means ay ang oxygen. So, let's talk about the periodic table. This is the periodic table of the present. The most important detail that we need to take note about this periodic table is that each element has a corresponding atomic number and atomic weight. Ang atomic number po ng element is located dito sa pinakataas. This is also the number of protons present in the said element. Ang atomic weight naman po ay makikita natin below the symbol of the element. So that's it! Now, we know how the elements found in a universe were formed and how the idea of atom along with the idea of elements evolved.